What's up, y'all? My name is Terrence Aviles, and you can tell by the title, we're going to be talking about superstitions, man. Superstitions, superstitions. Y'all ever, y'all ever see something that happens like, there's, bro, there's so many superstitions out there, it's not even funny. We got, don't walk under a ladder, you know? We got, I just, we got, the number 13 is 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 a bad is bad luck uh, an evil number or something the number 13 yes it's so deep that the number 13 i think i might talk about this in a later video but uh I'm, the number 13 people started to believe in that superstition so much that in some parts of the world of, of the world there are buildings, buildings in which elevators are, uh, you know, buildings uh, in which elevators were put, put into. It's it goes from the first floor, second floor, third floor, all the way to the 12th floor, skips a 13th floor. There is no 13th floor and goes to the 14th floor. It skips from 12 to 14. That's how. That's how crazy superstitions can. That's how crazy superstitions superstitions get from the, from the people who pass them on. Bro, you can't tell me nothing about nothing spiritual. You can't tell. You cannot tell me anything spiritual and expect me to believe you. I'm not gonna believe you. You are a human just like me. You don't know. Bro, you don't know you don't know anything. We we really out here, we really got people telling us stuff spiritually. And y'all believe it. Y'all believe it. Why do you believe it? Why? I'll tell you why you believe it. Because it's all you got. You are scared. You are being, you are so scared that you're just believing whatever's thrown at you. And that's exactly what happened with the people who decided to to not put a number 13 in elevators. How you go from 12th floor to 14th? Like as if, as if the number thirteen, bro, as if the number thirteen was just some magical thing, dropped, dropped in the world, bro. Humans made up the number thirteen. We made we made up numbers, bro. We created numbers so that life can be much easier. So we can know exactly. So we can know we got thirteen dollars in our bank account. So we can know we got thirteen dollars in our wallet. Humans created the number 13, and yet we putting an evil sense on that same number that you created. How, bro, how is, that is mind boggling to me. You saying something is, you saying a number is evil and you created that number. That's like, that's like saying, okay, this person created a cup for you to drink out of. And then another person is saying that that cup that the first person created is evil. And now everybody believes it. That's crazy, bro. Y'all really be, y'all get scared into believing stuff. You so afraid. <sighs> Superstitions start, you, you, you want to know how superstition started? I'm going to tell you right now. This is that. Well, this may be the first way, for all, It could be the first way, but it's definitely one of the ways. Definitely one of the earliest ways. Superstitions. One way that superstition started was in the in early human days. Early human days. I'm talking about thousands, thousands, thousands of years ago. 
we didn't have we bro we didn't have nothing we didn't know anything just like we don't know anything about the world uh, and I'm talking about spiritual spiritual in a spiritual sense spiritually we didn't still don't know anything now what happened the same thing that's happened today it scared people it, the this unknown this unknown world this unknown it scares it. it's scary it is scary i will give you that but it scared these people back in the early human days so bad that they started to create stuff just to cope with their negative feelings about not being able to explain anything spiritually. So they created superstitions so that they can feel relieved. They were looking for they were looking for hope in a false, a completely false sense. They were so scared that they tricked themselves into believing something that they created was a fact. And next thing you know, boom, they told someone else what they believe, even though they created that. That ain't the next the person who heard them tell his belief, his false belief, his non-factual belief. They believed it. The person after that believed it. Bro, that's how superstition start, man. Superstition start from, bro, superstition start from you You just seeing it. They don't even got to tell you. They don't even got to tell you, bro. You can just see it. You, you see it from an early age and then you start to believe it. There are people who have, there are people who have rituals that it's like a ritual. It's a, but it's a superstition. Like people who would do the same routine. There isn't, bro, if y- y'all know the, y'all know the show Malcolm in the Middle? Brian Cranston, he, he plays the character Hal in the show Malcolm in the Middle. Brian Cranston is also the person who plays Walt slash Heisenberg in Breaking Bad, the show Breaking Bad. There was an episode where his character Hal Hal in Malcolm in the Middle was bowling. He made one good strike. One he, he made a strike. He, you know, got all the pins down, knocked all the pins down. And after that, he went to to you know try to knock the pins down again um and he ended up realizing he ended up thinking wait a minute maybe i should do the exact things that i did when i got that first strike maybe it'll continue to happen and then it did happen he got a strike again he got and strikes if you're on a bowling anything on bowling strikes are a good thing uh, then he got another strike and another strike and another strike. Now, obviously, he got he got so many strikes, it's not even funny. Now, obviously, it's a show, so, you know, obviously. But people actually believe in that. Like, people who are uh, who are major sports players, they'll, they'll wear the same socks that they, you know, that they had an awesome game in once. They'll, they'll never wash the socks. Bro, that... These are ways that superstitions are started. All these little things from fear of of the unknown from, oh, I had a lucky day once. Let me do everything exactly the same. And that lucky day will happen again. Like, why do y'all, why do y'all believe in anything spiritual wise? What do I mean when I say spiritual wise? I mean, The fact that karma is, you know, people believe in karma. People believe in superstitions. That that's that's what I mean. That's what a spirit. That's what spiritual is. That's what spiritually, uh, you know, a spiritual. That's what it is. That's spiritual. That's the definition. 
Why do y'all believe? Why do y'all believe in anything that someone tells you spiritually? How would they know? They are humans. They are a human just like you are, bro. They are a human just like you are. Why do you believe them? And superstitions really, it's not just, it's not always good times. Superstitions can get so good, uh, can can get so deep. You, you, you believe in them so much that you're scared. You do, ev- there's a superstition about cats, black cats. I'm pretty sure we all know this. People say, uh, there's a superstition that says, if you, if you see, if a black cat crosses your path, you need to find another path. You basically need to go around it. Like find another path. Don't keep walking in that same path that. And, and don't keep walking in that same straight line that the black cat just crossed. You know, just walk, just walked across. Why do y'all. Oh, my God, dude. And and. Because of that, you know, there's that's a superstition, and it says that if you do that, if you keep walking that same path that the cat, that black cat just crossed, that means you're going to have bad luck, you're going to die. It's an omen for death. And when that superstition got started, and this superstition got started a long time ago, let's just say that a long time ago. Not in your lifetime. If you're watching this video, it most, it just, bro, it happened a long time ago. It was already setting down when the superstition started, was created. But that superstition scared people so bad that no one, the, the, the payments for purchasing black cats went down dramatically no one was buying cats anymore i'm talking about nobody you are that you get you get scared that easily is that easy to scare you not me not me you're not getting me you're not scaring me with bro they, they want you to be scared, bro. They want you to be scared. If you're scared, they benefit in some way. Fight, whether it's financial, whether it's you coming to them for answers and they can just tell you whatever they want to tell you. And next thing you know, you look up to them for everything and bam, they got you like a fish on the hook. You are falling into the trap. Why would you believe them? Who are they? I don't care if they're a billionaire. So? Stop being so scared, man. Superstitions. They're nothing more but a word. They're nothing more but... You can't... Bro... You can't tell me, Terrence Avila's. You can't tell me nothing spiritually. You can't tell me nothing. You can't tell me anything spiritually and expect me to believe you. I'm not going to believe you. Don't even try. Don't waste your breath. You don't know anything, bro. And that's and that's and that's the simple fact of this entire world. Just because you believe believing in something is not the same thing as it being real. Belief just gives us, yeah, that's 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 why these people chose to believe in these superstitions and stuff and believe in just all all this stuff that was invented by another person. Because you can believe can turn into hope and those things can make you feel good and it's cool to feel good 
But why are you doing it in a in a in a just awful way? You're choosing to feel good by believing in something that another person created. These people turned a I don't like cats. I don't like cats. I only but the only reason I don't like cats, black cats, whatever. Any cats. The only reason I don't like cats is just because Bro, they they are weird. They don't care about you, bro. Cats are I don't like compare at least when you compare it to a dog, bro. Cats don't they they don't care about you. They want you to feed them and get to stepping. Dogs, I just saw a, a dog video the other day, like maybe two or three days ago, of a dog diving into a pool to try to save his human, his or her human. But the human was faking it. The, the human just wanted to see if the dog would try to try to you know get her out of the pool. <laughs> that dog was he he did it. He got he he swam right out of the pool. He was pulling her hair. She she was messed up like she was her hair was getting yanked. But anyway, that's the only reason I don't like cats. They because they just don't mess with you. You know, they just don't mess with you. You can mess with them, but they don't mess with you. Most, the majority of cats, I think. But I don't dis, but that's the only reason I don't like cats. I'm not, I'm, I don't, it's not that I don't like them because of a superstition. Bro, you turned, these people that created that superstition turned a beautiful creature. Because just because I don't like cats don't mean they're, they're not still, they're beautiful. Just because I don't like cats don't mean don't mean that they're not beautiful creatures. They are beautiful. These people turned a beautiful creature into something so negative. So negative to the point where people the the sales in in black cats dramatically decreased. That's crazy. Anyway, uh, bro, stop believing in everything y'all hear, bro. Think, think, man. Think. If you if you pay attention, dude. If you start thinking about this stuff, y'all don't get it, man. Man, these lights. The power of fear. It can get a lot of things. The power of fear. It can benefit the person who started that fear in the first place in so many ways. It's not even funny. Anyway, y'all, uh, that's it for this one. Uh, yeah. Go ahead. Uh, I'm dropping this. This is uh, you know. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel. And uh. Yeah, man. Stop letting these people scare you, bro. See y'all next time.